Welcome back everybody to uh, RimWorld. Today I want to quickly clear up something I bought very, very briefly towards the end of yesterday's episode with regards to the uh, um, to the tech. As you can see, they've absolutely blitzed through tech. Now to be fair, a lot of this stuff that I've queued up is useless and we're never going to be able to see it. I just kind of wanted to get it out of the way. Uh, out of all of these, I think the only one we're actually going to use is potentially skin hardening. Uh, formal wear is obviously pointless. Flak armor, maybe smoke pot belts, but we're never going to use water mill generators, especially not in space. Anyway, I, I've tried to obviously get rid of all the research that is irrelevant, but the actual important research we will actually try and pay a bit of attention to here. So it's worth mentioning that the way tech advancing works, I did just double check this in the mod settings, is that, uh, well, the first way I can actually illustrate it is if we go back to Devil Strand, it does retroactively make... Thank you for that. Technology cheaper based on your tech level. So Devil Strand in the base game for both tribal and industrial nations costs 800 by default. It's only 3 to 8 right now. Plus we've got the multi-analyzer, the computer system, the whatever, the perfect research room basically. Um, and the faster scenario research as well. As a result, a lot of this stuff is taking over instantaneously. But the way it actually works, and I'm, I'm thinking of making maybe a, a more tech advancing focus mod pack in the future because it's actually quite cool so you actually reach a level of tech depending on how much research you've got done relative to that tier so right now our tech level counts as ultra tech because we have done most of the space tech and we're over halfway through ultra tech level i think it's if you're over 50 percent through a particular tier you become that tier highest level is arco tech that's when you've researched everything in the game as far as i recall um so as a result, because we're going back and doing things like Devil Strand, they are incredibly cheap by comparison. But this has some really cool settings, like for example, making research projects more expensive if they are much more advanced than your kind of current technology level. Might be really fun for going from like a, maybe a tribal to an Arcotech playthrough, where research is the main focus, or like a randomized research mod especially would, would, uh, would work pretty well with that. Anyway, today our goal is very simple. We continue with the moon base and try and move our way up there. The only problem is, uh, people have basically said in response to yesterday that trying to work on a ship when it's in orbit is basically suicide. Um, because a lot of the ships will, like enemy ships obviously turn up and, and kill us dead. The problem with that then is the moon base kind of becomes a bit pointless because the only place we would have actually had room to build a decent sized spaceship on the moon would be in this area, which of course I was going to build in. Um... As a result of that, then, what I'm thinking is we'll go ahead and we'll remove these walls. And we'll build more towards the mountains and leave as much open space as possible. We'll trim back these mountains as far as possible. But it basically means that our spaceship is going to be quite sh quite, quite a small ship by the time we're done with things. It gives us just, like, this much room. Which seems like it's quite small for a big old ultra-tech level spaceship. But I guess we'll see how it goes. Um... We'll, we'll wait and see how much progress we actually get done here. Obviously, we need bedrooms, recreation zones. You know you know how it goes at this point. We'll try and focus on as much luxury in space as possible. As small as possible. But, like, golden floors, golden walls. Whatever we can basically afford. But we'll basically go through a tier at a time and finish everything off. So, as for the, uh, for the early tier, we've only got monuments left. Then, for industrial, there's power management, compound, bow, sentry guns. Again, none of this is going to be useful to us when we get up into space. So, it's just basically... Uh, Finishing it all off so we could, I guess, take apart the research room. Um, as for space tech stuff, we basically finished with that one too. Got holograms. And then we start getting to things that we can't actually ever work on because of... Uh, because of tech prints. So I think besides the things that require tech prints, we're more or less done with research. In fact, we are done with research after these ones. And then we can, again, we could take that room apart, start working on industrialization. Hey, we could send Hocus up into space to help to help uh ex dr don md out uh space battle oh no it must be on the moon whereabouts oh that's quite close luckily it's it's far enough away where it shouldn't hurt our base oh i don't know that is quite close i think our wall took a bit of a ding there didn't it it was bloody close either way uh please hurry up for the love of god <laughs> Uh, shield generators, funnily enough, are going to be how we defend ourselves on the moon. Um, so that we can prevent stuff like this happening. The shield generators are great as long as we've got enough heat sinks. Um, or, or heat removal as long as they don't overheat specifically. Let's also deal with these bloody mechanisms. I completely forgot about that. Minus 10 degrees. Uh, it's 26 out though. Hang on, in hindsight, let's not blow that up. Let's try and destroy the mech assembler. Uh, but let's not, let's not destroy that, that, that giant cooler because that's actually doing us a significant favor right now It'd be 36 if it wasn't for that come on little hocus come on take it down that'll do it excellent work 
We'll try and take out the, uh, the turrets as well, so I can basically unlock my people, let them get out there. Um, let's see if we can destroy them without taking out this. Uh, that one shouldn't create too much of, uh, of an explosion, should it? Let's let the Hokers get back on there. Let's see if we can destroy that one next. It's gonna be quite difficult to hit, apparently it's surrounded by mountains. Laser sniper rifle? Plastil throw knives, we must have had a drop pod. Right next to the mechanoids. Oh, what a shot, holy shit. Uh, is Emily okay? Uh, b I mean, besides the eyes. To be fair, we did buy eyes, didn't we? I did buy eyes for Emily to be installed. Uh, no, I did not. I could have sworn we bought some mechanical eyes. Maybe I couldn't afford them in the end. Let's craft her some eyes. I think she deserves it at this point. Um, we can make bionic eyes, specifically. Those are kind of your base game bionic eyes. Uh, 125% efficiency, so plus 50 to our vision overall is quite nice. Alternatively, we use the... Uh, Prosthetics++ plus plus mod, and we actually te test that out before we end up going in space. And you know what? I've got the perfect room that we can swap out for prosthetics. Why don't we just double check here that we've got everything? I think, you know what? That That is it. Oh, there's, there's one more thing. That's skin hardening. Uh, besides that, though, we are... We are done with research. Nice. We get skin hardening finished, and we'll turn this into a prosthetics room. Next goal is to replace everybody's limbs. If we have enough resources left after that, Begin the upgrading process. More meteorites. Where where did they land? Right in my bloody kill box. Are you kidding me? What was it? Just limestone. Oh, that's a bit weird. Oh, well, let's it embed it into uh, into the mountain, perhaps. Okay, fair enough. Um, we could probably get down some turrets too, because I imagine we'll still be on the planet at least for today. Um, and even then, we'll probably have somebody working here, if, even if it's just taking care of the plants and and smelting the resources until we get the same thing set up on the moon. We could do with a couple of charge turrets then. Well, let's focus on, on replacement limbs first, using the advanced components for that. Because I think any raid that turns up, we are well equipped. Um, we'll, we'll focus on making sure that our soldiers are the best they could possibly be. Then we'll put down some extra firepower if necessary. Do you know what? Better idea. Bearing in mind, we've got a lot of other technology. So I accidentally called them med bays yesterday. We do actually have the med bay mod. What I meant when I was talking about the, uh, the regeneration bay is, funnily enough... The regeneration bay. So that we've got the dermal regenerator. Uh, so the way these things work is they are basically something you walk into and it'll immediately um, tidy up scars, lacerations. Ease, as it says there, easily healed things. So it's not a replacement for a doctor. But if you get kind of nicked in a battle or if a scyther gets the better of you but you're not in any serious danger, you could just walk into that and it can it can sew you back together, which is quite nice. Let's, let's get rid of it then. Thank you, Research Room. You've been a massive help. But unfortunately, you are... Pretty much no longer needed. I'd, I'd like to do something better with these batteries as well, because I believe we have advanced batteries now, don't we? Um, and bear in mind that our power kind of fluctuates. If we get an eclipse or something, that cuts out most of our power grid on the planet. So if we go for a more efficient battery, it will be enough to hopefully keep the lights on with just the generators. Um, let's go to power, and then we've got like advanced batteries somewhere. There we are, large advanced battery. They're quite expensive, but uh, just technological advancement is significantly more effective. They are waterproof and don't explode. Do they suffer from the... I guess it's the cables themselves that suffer from the uh, from the power shortages, right? Well, let's get a couple of these down anyway in this room. And then we can free up the... What will be a new hospital was my point I was going to make. Now that we've got all the extra stuff to put in a hospital, we might as well use the slightly larger room. Turn this one into a kind of bionics production room. Can't build the make bay quite yet because it is... Uh, because it requires this metafuel, which we just simply don't have, and apparently also a gladius. Uh, what we can do, though, is we can build something called a Glitter World Hospital Bed. The only problem with Glitter World Hospital Beds is they don't connect up to anything else, as you can see. Um, they connect up to the surgical tools and the lamp. They don't connect up to the IV drip by the looks of it. Um, and they don't connect up to the vital center. What that means is if we uh, use that, we're potentially missing out on some advantages here. It might be better to use a regular hospital bed made of silver, high quality... Uh, hopefully. Could try and go for an excellent quality or better. That might provide better than the Glitter Tech hospital bed. Uh, just a case of kind of testing out, really. So if we go silver hospital bed here, um, 110%, 111%, 100%. And let's, uh, what about the steel one? It's 143% surgery and 126% immunity. Don't really care about rest. It's a, it's a bed. Um, 143, 126, and 31. Then we kind of see the baseline Glitter Tech hospital bed. 120, 120, 20. Um, it's not better though, is it? No, it's not. It's 11% worse than the 10 quality. I think it is better to still stick with a silver hospital bed and just go for the room that we've got right now. Oh man, okay. What are we up against here? The Zalo Union. 
Tribal Raiders again. Wow. It's bizarre. Okay. Um, I think this is going to be a complete slaughter, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and sell, get ourselves equipped for what little it's worth. Actually, make sure we draft them up first. Otherwise, they'll put their armor on and immediately run off to go and plant a crop or build a tree or whatever it is you do in RimWorld. Right. Send them to I even set up defensive positions. Yes, but they're not very good. To be honest, this killbox in general is terrible because of where we built it, but that's okay. Um, it did say they were trying to sap through. Can you not do that, actually? We'll just kind of stand here, and as they come through that little gap they're about to dig through, we'll just, we'll just kill them all. They're tribal raiders. Why do we care? Why are they like this? <laughs> there's, a, there's a plenty fine road. To be fair, they tried going down the road, and, and Hocus and Emily managed to get a couple of them there. Um, we could send you two in to basically just go around to their tunnels and, and kill them as they dig. That would be quite funny. All right, I'm in. That seems pretty good. We've got to be careful that they don't get the best of us there. We've got pretty accurate weaponry, but it's not its not fast. Should have sent people with fast firing weapons for that, to be honest with you. Um, let's just get Emily to stand there. And then we'll just, we'll just keep coming back and forth until eventually they all die horribly. Careful, careful, careful. Right, let's move you down again. See if we could aggro this guy to maybe attack us. Hmm, he's not interested, is he? I was hoping it would bring the rest of the group over, but evidently not. Fleeing. Fleeing? Really? Come on. Ah, so much for the trap that we set up. Um, we can go and smoke them out, though, with our grenade squad. Let's send in some of the grenade squad. Let's send in you guys. Really, Emily and Milo shouldn't even be drafted. Bear in Emily's blind and Milo is incapable of violence. So, what the hell was that? Oh, they're fleeing towards us. Oh, that was unexpected. Okay, pull back, pull back, pull back. Why are they doing that? All right, here we go. Can we even get in there? We can. I wondered if maybe that's why they were going around. Um, my god, I would love to just put some grenades by the entrance and watch them all die. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? Let's do exactly that. Here you are. Present for you. Yes! <laughs> ah. ah, this is a nice break from just, uh, farming constantly. We can, we can go ahead and wipe out some, uh, some natives who I'm uh, probably just defending their land or something like that. Um, can I stop them firing at that and instead fire at these people over here. Oh, do I think? Excellent work. Oh, we accidentally destroyed the climate adjuster. Well, I mean, the tribals did us a favor then, basically, didn't they? Well, that was a complete massacre. Well done. Didn't even need to bring the whole squad down. I didn't want to take him for granted, given that last time I took the tribal raiders for granted. Really? Hmm. You seem a little, uh... A little conflicted there, Dr. Don. This is why you lost your license, as I recall. Um, I was going to say, last time we took tribals for granted, they did kill one of our guys. So, I'm not going to let that happen again. Holy shit. We haven't checked this for a while. And my god, there's a lot of stuff going on. So, somebody said we should build the heavy cargo shuttle. And I fully agree. Because it's like our regular cargo shuttle. But can carry, obviously, way more stuff. So, let's get one of these down. And let's... We could always decommission the old cargo shuttle. But having a spare one is quite nice. Let's go ahead and just get you... It was shuffled away for a little while. I assume they use similar amounts of fuel, so we won't go crazy with the uranium quite yet. And we'll just get this thing to start taking up the base in bulk. Like 2,000 uranium we can shift it there, 2,000 plastil, that type of thing. Um, so this room's now empty. Well, let's get Ciala the cleaning bot down into um, the hospital, because that just makes a bit more sense. We get rid of the animal sleeping spot, we'll move the... I know we're still using herbal medicine. What? what I can't get neutramine. I don't think we've got any... We, we can refine it somehow, haven't we? I don't know if we've got any mods. Yeah, from Nutriglycerin. Um, which we can't which we can't make. So I don't know if there's actually any way for us to manually produce our own Nutramine. We've got all these mods that use Nutramine as ingredients, but we've actually got no mod that adds a way to craft Nutramine. The only way we could do it is with Nutriglycerin, which would mean we would need Boomalopes. Um, we might have to go and take a world tour, see if we can find and capture and tame some Boomalopes at some stage then. Uh, otherwise, we... Basically can't fuel our med bay either. Because the um the meta fuel, I believe, all require neutramine, so we're gonna have to just purchase it or Yeah, chem fuel would be the ideal way. We can't grow it, can we? There's no like kept like neutramine plan or obviously we can grow chem fuel, but that's basically it. Yeah, we can't even grow chem fuel in the uh, hydroponics phase either. Oh look at this. Wow. Holy shit. Um programmable Oh, there's so much. Okay. Uh, this is interesting. Right, so we've got combat AI gives shooting accuracy 15% hunger, so there is a trade-off to that. Learning factor is up 35%, makes you more hungry as well. Cybernetic thermogenerator 
Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Um, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, right, right, right. Okay, so let's start with the obvious stuff. Legs, arms, that type of thing. Um, could Global Works be 6% with the cybernetic leg? And I assume, yeah, 155% efficiency. We need level 2. Wow, look at that. So you have to make the programmable leg prosthesis. Then you make the... Um, you make the level 2 version, then you upgrade it into the level 3 as well. Bloody hell. That's going to take a while. Okay, fair enough. But they are very, very good. 6% global work speed and 155% body part efficiency. I'm going to have to put down the other prosthetics workbench as well. I wonder if we will need both or whether it will just be enough for this one as well. Um, do they connect up? Just to double check. I don't believe they do. No, they only connect up to tool cabinets, so they don't support the additional linkables mod, but that's okay. You know, you can't really, can't really expect that from every mod. Right, let's get you with a chair or two. And then we'll use this room as also a stockpile for um, prosthetics. So if we'll go ahead and put down a couple of these two, I imagine we're going to end up crafting a fair amount. But the first thing I want are eyes. Let's take a look. So we've got cybernetic eye. Bloody hell. Mark 1E. So what do they give? Oh, they give various different bonuses. Right, okay. Um... Okay, basic. And then we got MK1A, 1B, 1C, 1. Are they, and is that just what eye implants are called? You know, I don't know if they had anything fancy. Like, for example, other mods we've had have the, um, like, scopes and weird weird names for eye implants. But I think that's it. Okay, so what do you think then? This is for Emily, who is our one of our snipers. What are you? What is your kind of day job? Actually, what is your day job? Um... Growing plants, really. Uh, yeah, no specialization on her. Hunting. It's combat. She's, she's a combat character, through and through. Um, in that case, then, we need two... No, we don't need the basic ones. Uh, we just need the programmable eye components for these. Okay, fair enough. Um, Long-range accuracy. Turn her into a, a true, proper sniper. I think that's okay. And these are actually quite cheap as well. So let's go ahead and make two of those. And then um, we need programmable eye... Programmable eye, programmable eye. There we are. Um, so there's going to be 10 advanced components, 8 regular components, 100 chem fuel, and 50 synth thread. Now, luckily, we have a mod that allows us to produce synth thread, so that's not a big problem. But I'm not sure we have that much cloth, though. That's the only concern I've got. Um, go ahead and say making. So we've got 100. How much were those each? Um, synth thread, synth thread, synth thread. 25, yeah. So until we've got 100, we've also got the ability to make hyperweave if necessary. We may need to start growing cloth, of all things. We've got plenty of plasteel, so I'm going to swap out this plasteel farm. Can't believe we're <laughs> swapping out the ability to grow plasteel for, for cloth. Seems like a, kind of a step backwards somewhat, I will admit. Oh, there it is. What a boy. What do we fuel it with? Uh, it just says fuel. I imagine it's still more uranium, uh, more of the uranium power cells. What do we want to send up into space then? Uh, basically whatever we can, and I think we should probably send up maybe Hocus and Doctor Don this time to continue work up on the space base. Get the hydroponics back online, fix the reactor, whatever else happened up there. Ooh, man, that did get close to our base in the end, didn't it? Basically, take things apart and start fresh. Now, Hocus is very malleable. Obviously, a double passion and everything. One of our starting characters there basically gives us, her the ability to do whatever the hell she wants. So... I think her along with Dr. Don is going to be quite a potent combo. Let's go ahead and get them equipped from the armor rack. And we'll go ahead and launch those two into space. Sila, sorry, Skylar is still on the ground as our as our builder here. So we haven't got to worry about potentially limiting ourselves still on the base. Um, but I've done pretty much more or less all, everything I can do there. Um, right, so let's send you guys up with some more uranium fuel pods. Let's go. I mean, this thing requires 200. So we'll make sure we send 200 per trip so it, so it can be refueled. Um... We need steel in space, and that's the one thing we don't really have too much of. Um, well, let's send even 2,000 uranium. It's too heavy for that thing. Let's send 1,000 uranium, then. Let's send uh, 1,000 plasteel. Actually, you know what? Let's send 1,500 plasteel. We can always build bedrooms out of, you know, we can always build beds, whatever else, out of plasteel if we want to. I was thinking building everything out of jade, because uh, we've got a shitload of jade, and it's a very simple, cheap, relatively, thing to build out of. Um... And it gives the beauty bonus as well. So I'm thinking, why not? Go on then. Let's send that up there. Meals? I, I don't know if we're okay for meals up there. Well, let's drop a couple of... Uh, let's drop some uranium. We don't really need that much in exchange for a boatload of meals, preferably. In theory, we shouldn't need meals because we've got the advanced hydroponics. If we have those growing rice, that's going to be more food than they could ever eat. Now we've got to wait quite a while for this stuff to be loaded because it bloody ages. All right. Onwards and upwards. Let's head back to our little moon base and see what these two can do together. 
There it is. And let's get you... I mean, like I said, we're going to take this part of the base apart so we've actually got more room to work with. It means that I've essentially just built a most... Like, an incredibly hideous base. Uh, the symmetry is out the window at this point. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's drop this down. And let's get to work fixing up this base as soon as possible, really, because it is uh, a bit of a dump, to be honest. Really not looking very good at all. So we've got two decent builders now, which is quite nice. Let's get the power back online as the first thing we do. Let's go ahead and replace the components in that. Let's go ahead and get this battery built as well. And then refuel it. And that should turn the lights and everything back on. There we go. Life sports back online. What have I had Hocus and Dr. Don doing since they arrived up in space? Pure luxury, my friends. That's what I've had Hocus and Dr. Don doing since they got into space. They are sharing a bed. But to be fair, that bed is a Jade Royal double poster bed uh, with illuminated end table and uh, illuminated dresser and wardrobe and a solid Jade floor. Overall, it's quite luxurious. What I've had them doing on the main planet is kind of their regular stuff. But more importantly, crafting some hauling bots. Still got a bit of a, a lack of steel, 169 in storage right now. When they finish off this hauling bot, um, which I'll set as the last one here. We'll go ahead and blast those all up into space. Oh, really, hauling bot? Um, just to basically give Hocus and Dr. Don a little bit of a hand, because there's a lot of corpses from the space battles. We've basically got, like, months of backlog with uh, kind of crap lying around. So I want these guys to not have to be hauling corpses on the moon, because that'll probably upset them. Hocus is attempting a moon hookup. Could this be the first ever? Oh, Dr. Don did not agree to the hookup. A man committed to only his job. I'm sorry, Hocus. I can only hook up with justice and ship chunks. Trying again. <laughs> Don did not agree. Let me guess. You're constantly being rebuffed. Uh, minus one. Well, I mean, that's fine. As long as it's only minus one. She tried again. She's trying again. She's constantly trying. You're never going to succeed. I have a strange feeling, Don, probably not your type. Misogynist and gay. Yeah, he's really he's really not interested, Hocus. And look how she's chasing him rather than doing work. What is wrong with you? She's actually following him this man across the face of the moon for it. We might have to send someone else up to keep Hocus company if you catch my catch my meaning. Okay, how many hauling bots we got? Five. That'll do it. Right, so let's start loading. Oh, we need a lot of jade, because I'm planning on jading the entire moon. The glorious jade moon base of the skies. Uh, well, obviously, I think that was kind of implicit with saying moon base. Uh, what else do we want here? I want to send advanced components, because those are going to be necessary for the uh, things where you grow plants, hydroponics. And we also want to send the hauling bots. Where are those? There we go. One, two, three, four, five. Anything else we want to send up? Uh, send up some components, seeing as nobody's crafting them up there. We'll send 25. They can mine some, sure, and take apart the ships. Um, cloth. Cloth is very important. Send me, whoa, that's a lot of cloth. Holy shit. Um, send me a thousand cloth as well. Um, we'll take some medicine in case shit happens. We'll take 20 of that. Uh, send them a bit of steel. I, I want to save up a bit more steel first. A bit more plasteel wouldn't hurt. I send uh, the 696 plasteel. Um, we go up to mass with, I guess, uranium. That's okay. Oh, we need a pilot too. Maybe someone to keep. Maybe someone to keep uh, Hocus happy. Who does Hocus like? Emily, much like Hocus, is also going around the entire base asking people uh, if they're interested. So what we're gonna do? They send Emily up to keep Hocus company. Right, we need to drop some stuff off now, don't we? We'll drop uranium probably till... Oh, we seem to have lost a hauling bot. That's annoying. Um, we'll, we'll drop uranium until mass then. Something like that. There we go. Welcome. Oh. <laughs> Immediately falls asleep. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, there we go. Right, so this is going to help kind of jump things up a little bit because we do have a lot of hauling tasks to do. So those guys are going to help speed things up quite nicely. Hocus is currently cooking. I'm um, doing an okay job of it. We don't have any food poisoning quite yet or anything like that. Let's work on the hauling bots. That would be better than hauling and then doing the hauling bots after you finished all their hauling jobs. Right. Get to work, little robots. And they can survive in the vacuum of space, I would assume, because they're, they're robots. Sorry, how did it get hot enough on the moon to overheat a reactor? It's the fucking moon. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, I will admit, I was expecting passive heat transfer to um, to keep that cool. I was mistaken. We'll build a vent. Uh, what, what, what are events these days here? Yeah, problem solved immediately. Dr. Don, if you could uh, potentially sort this out. How the fuck did that happen? 
Unbelievable. Never good if, if your moon base suffers a nuclear meltdown, is it? It's not a fantastic start to everything. So what I figured, rather than building everything out of these really expensive walls, is build them out of far less expensive jade walls and just do a kind of external layer of ship hole. Um, so we'll just build the bedrooms in a straight line for like care across the rest of the base. We'll kind of mirror it around the bottom here as well. Uh, but we can just kind of, kind of just do this. Just, just throw a bunch of bedrooms, like jade walls inside the ship hole. That way we get the beauty bonuses and it's going to save us. Because even just building like, like bedroom dividers would be really expensive. If we were to build just kind of this wall. Even that is going to rack up six components, 24 plastic, 96 steel. Weirdly enough, steel is still incredibly rare. What do you mean outdoors? What, vents turn rooms outdoors, do they? That's new. Uh, since when is that a thing? Well, that makes it... Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so now we're going to have to take this apart. We're going to have to build another bloody wall there instead. I don't want to prioritize cleaning the vomit of Hocus. I want to sort out this bloody nuclear reactor in this moon base where there's no life support. Well, that's ridiculous. Why would that be the case? Okay. Um, I mean, eventually we'll be able to chill all of this anyway just by moving this stuff over. Uh, to be honest, I could try and build another bedroom very, very quickly. Uh, the kind of minimum size. In fact, let me, let me put down some floors in here and then we'll just blueprint the bloody thing. Oh! It's because it's a bloody overwall vent, but the ship hole doesn't count as a wall. <laughs> Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay, never mind then. Somewhat impressive. Oh, because it's quite small. Oh. Um, somewhat impressive. Average size, 4,200 points. Doesn't count as... Just somewhat impressive, really? It's really an impressive rec room. It's really an impressive dining room. And then just a regular boring old bedroom. And what, what does this room count? It's extremely impressive. And that's basically all down to the... To the double bed then, isn't it? In fact, you know what? We don't have room in these rooms for a wardrobe. He's right. I can't argue with the man. They do need to be one block larger then. Uh, what is going on with these nuclear reactors? Now this one's gone into meltdown. Why would that be? 23 degrees outdoors. Why? Um, am I wrong in thinking that maybe when we're looking at one map, the other map's temperature doesn't update correctly? Because I can't think why now... After 15, 20 episodes of having these nuclear reactors set up, why now they would suddenly stop working, despite the fact that I have changed nothing at all about them? Why suddenly would that be a problem? There's no solar flares. There's no heating differences. They've just suddenly stopped working. Hmm. Why is this on fire? What? <laughs> ah, and now my bridge has caught fire. For reasons I couldn't even begin to explain. I have no idea what's going on. Lightning? I, I mean, there wasn't lightning. I know there wasn't lightning. It's quite clearly not even rainy remotely or a dry thunderstorm. It just caught fire. Sorry, are we going to do anything about this or are we just going to sit and watch it burn? Home. What? Why is this home area, but this isn't? <laughs> oh, this game. It staggers me sometimes where it thinks a home area is. There we are. Chuckles is dead. Why is Chuckles dead? Extreme toxic buildup. Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. They do do that, don't they? Yeah, I kind of forgot that the broken nuclear reactor might be a concern. Balls. So I've sent Emily home so she can get her eye surgery. Uh, also because she's one of our crafters, from what I recall. So we might as well uh, might as well have her help things out here. So Emily, let's get you to transfer your stuff to the armor rack. And then if you can report to whatever hospital bed is convenient. She's missing a stomach, a left eye, and a right eye. So I feel like... I feel like she's probably long overdue some medical attention. Let's get you rest until healed. And Dr. Zerato MD, if you could report to, um, to be honest, wherever the hell you want these days. I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind with these people. The Cyber Eye Mark 1 is complete. And the Cyber Eye Mark 1 number 2 is also complete. 50% long range accuracy plus 80% bonus to her vision overall. Well, to say that she went from nothing, I guess it's 180% bonus to her vision. No, 280% to her vision. Wow. That's crazy. Um, she's been missing a stomach, which I feel like 
should be a lot more significant than the game is making out. Let's type in stomach. Uh, cybernetic stomach. There it is. Um, generates acids. Completely recycling food within itself. That's what stomachs do. You're right. Uh, one programmable stomach. 20 uranium and two components. Right. Uh, let's go for sto... Stomach. Um, no, programmable stomach. Uh, 40 sin thread, 50 chem fuel, 4 advanced components. What are we missing? Just the advanced components. So that's great news. My next thing is arms. I want all my smelter boys to have arms. All the arms you could ever make. Arms, arms, arms. Uh, arm penetration, arm penetration. Do I need to give a work speed bonus? Uh, the hydromechanical arm is the best one on there. Um, what about you? Arm. Uh, what the hell do we need for that? Programmable. No, no, no. I want cybernetic arm. Cyber oh, cybernetic arm construction. Oh! Uh, medicine sniper. Cybernetic arm mark 2 or just cybernetic arm mark 3. So we need the cybernetic arm mark 1. Uh, which I don't know how to make that. Okay, cybernetic arm mark 1. And then we need to upgrade that twice to take up to 155% efficiency. Yikes. Okay. What about the hands? Have you got any like magic, magic hands? Why would you have a mark 1 hand but not a mark 2? You don't really need the 1 if it's the only hand that you offer. Hang on. Hand, 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 hand. Cybernetic hand. We got some other fancy name for a hand. Uh, evidently not. What about in here? Uh, hand. Um, ooh. Sensory active hand. Bioelectric prosthesis. Okay. Myoelectric hand. Well, they still only cap out at 140% efficiency. Unless I can put multiple hands on a man. Which I feel like is going against science itself. Um. What, what arm do we need then? Um. Uh, um, cybernetic arm. One cybernetic. Oh, the cybernetic arm. You upgrade from the cybernetic hand. Well, that's confusing. Um, the cybernetic hand, Mark One. Cybernetic hand, Mark One. Oh, so that's your first version of your cybernetic arm, then. Um, that explains why there's no Mark One arm, and also why there are is a Mark One hand. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, preferably, people have two arms. Last time I checked. That's a lot of components. I believe. Oh, God. Um. All right. Go ahead. Devil Strand and Plasteel. We have Devil Strand. I was the Devil Strand King for a while. Plenty of Devil Strand. <gasps> That's massive. So it turns out I was a fool and Chuckles was one of our crafters. Chuckles who died, Chuckles. Um. Wow, that's pretty big. What about this Barnic Arm? What do, what do those do? Do those give a bonus or are they just the basic 125%? You know what? I'll take it. Whatever. I'll take anything at this point, brother. Just please. Uh, here. I'll, I'll buy you a hauler. You know my flat screen television. I'm not using it anyway. Can I have some gold? Do you like gold? Everybody likes gold. Minus 580. We are. Um, I, I believe I need that. I need your advanced components if you don't mind. I need your regular components if you don't mind. Uh, plastic. Everybody loves plastic. I have 310 plastic. There you go. Um, no boomalopes? No boomalopes. Oh, neutramine, though. I do need that. Oh, God, it's expensive. Okay, gold. Do you love gold? I have, a, I have a thousand gold. There we are. Perfect. Not a problem. Um, yeah, the skill trainer is phenomenal. To be honest, I should probably buy the mining ones as well. You love gold? I can't really give them any more gold. Uh, plastic. We've got plenty of plastic, though. Have five, six hundred plastic. There you are. Perfect. Right. So, crafting then. Who's our next best crafter? Emily. Five out of twenty. Alternatively, we give it to Hocus, who has a double passion. She's only got three out of... Oh, gosh, she's only got three. Okay, you know what? Emily with the magic eyes. Please use the crafting skill trainer and get enough crafting to become a smelter. That's enough. That's enough. Holy shit. Thank God for that. Figured to make up for the fact that she's been blind and has no stomach. Uh, we'll give it- I should have put it on the other hand, because then we could have replaced her bloody ring finger as well. Never mind. Um, I figured we'd also give her the bionic arm. She's gonna be one of our best workers. I'm investing a lot into her. She never asked for this, but she's ended up with it. Um, so we got 14. We just make a, a second bionic arm. Just kind of bash that out quickly, and then we've given her both of those, and then we give someone else the advanced arms. Um, whenever we get around to crafting that. Who's, who's, who's our best crafter these days? Siala. Wow, by far. Let's get to work on that then. Another exhausted goes trader. Christ, okay. What I'm thinking, my next plan is to take Constantine and, and Barry, give them bionics, give them the necessary upgrades, uh, hit them with the mining trainers and send them to the moon because there are so many more raw resources where they could be put to much better use. 
rather than having them just kind of standing around here doing stuff that we're doing down. We don't need this many people in this base anymore. It's one on the moon. Uh, Hocus. So let's see what they've got then. Uh, Hocus can't talk because of poor health. I strongly disagree. Neutramine is always quite nice. Very expensive though. Advanced components will take those. Eight of them. Yikes. Uh, don't need the go juice. Not in space. Um, have you got any skill trainer cooking? Oh, it's okay. Metabolic mechanites. Hunger rate and rest rate minus 45 and 45. Those are insane. We can afford them. And um, we've got Dr. Don MD up here. License uh, notwithstanding on the moon. Maybe his license returns on the moon. Maybe his license only got revoked on Earth. Or whatever planet they came from. That's Emily upgraded decently. There we go. Uh, still need that stomach. How, how's that coming along, Ciela? It's not. What are you doing? Sewing. 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 What? Harvesting growing. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was kind of my bad. I did that automatically. Um... We'll drop those down. We'll drop those down. Crafters, you have you have way much, way much more important stuff to do than to mess around with that. There we are. Much better. Okay. Um, right, right. Let's try this again. So, Ciala, if I go ahead and stop, let's just see what you're doing now. Make your advanced component. I appreciate that, but I would prefer the, the, the stomach as soon as possible. And the upgrade. Oh, sweet. We can go straight into it. To be fair, the upgrade was quite cheap, though, wasn't it? Um... Yeah, uranium two components. No problem with that at all. Then Emily is basically top of the line. You know, couldn't get any better. And she's done. There we go. Missing a toe. Unfortunately, there are no toe bionics. Well, actually, there might be. We've seen bionic spells that's done that before. Okay, so we've got three good crafters now. Um, hopefully, we're capable of smelting as, as kind of their top priority. To be honest, the, 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 the amount of stuff we've got to smelt is no longer the issue. Uh, with these all these crazy spring sprinklers, because I think the way the sprinklers work is just anything within their zone gets a chance to grow. So with all of this stuff piled up, you can see that we are drowning in raw resources. It's just the fact that it's crafting limited and we've had no good crafters. The mining skill trainer. Man, you guys are too generous. Oh, what have they got here? Cybernetic exoskeleton. Carrying capacity 30. That's quite nice. Combat mechanites. Shooting accuracy plus 8. Energy modulator. What the hell does that do? Uh, an energetic active neurostimulant. Maybe uh, for people who have brain damage, perhaps? We've got unstable metabolic mechanites. Wow. Um, we're getting a lot of exotic goods traders. On the moon as well, where we don't really need them. Two advanced personicles. What the hell? Okay. Uh, we could buy advanced components. Advanced components are always useful to have. Maybe not this many. But to be fair, if we expand the hydroponics bays out, we're going to need as many as we can get our bloody hands on. Um, that's fine. We can afford it, too. Um, I, I want to buy the mining skill trainer. I might buy one of these cybernetic exoskeletons. For the miners, carrying capacity plus 30 might be quite good. Let's go ahead and get one of those. Um, then what's the other one? Combat mechanites. They sound good in practicality, but I don't know how good shooting accuracy is going to be. When on the moon, we're not going to need it. Maybe when we get into our space battles and, and, and boarding ships and stuff, it might be more relevant. I have been working on a secret background task for a little while now. The new Tramian I bought ages ago was for one reason and one reason only, and that was to make 10 medicine. Why do we need 10 medicine? We needed one DNA reconstructor mech serum and one resurrector mech serum. Ever since the nuclear power plant broke down, it has meant that sacred Mondo within his jade tomb has rotted away. However, sacred Mondo can be rebuilt. It's not guaranteed to succeed. I should point that out. This could fuck him up. This could have some horrible after effects. Uh, how do we do it again? We, we use Reconstructor Mech Serum on, on Mondo. And then we can follow it up for the return of the king himself. Boom. One Mondo. And then we do it. The Resurrector Mech. Uh, Ciala, you crafted all of this stuff. You may have the honor. Return him. Return the king to lead us to the moon base. Mondo himself. What would Dr. Don MD think, think, think if he could see him now? What would he think? A ghost from his past. The man who made him lose or gain his medical license, I don't remember. Once again, alive and well. Mondo himself. On that note, we will end there for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the return of Mondo. The start of the moon base. I say start of the moon base. I mean, I'll quickly just... I mean, it's looking 
It's looking pretty good as far as I'm... I think it's looking quite nice. But good food production. Luxury. Just pure lu ultra screen television. Jade interactive table. These two are always happy with everything that's happening. No matter what. Look at them. Their moods are elated. This is, pu this is pure luxury paradise up here on the moon. We've just got to get a stable infrastructure. Ready to slowly bring everyone else. And Mondo will lead us to glory. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. A big thank you goes out to the insane executive producers for making the channel possible. A thank you goes out to Kat, Huey, Longdong, Psychophere, Spooky Booty Banger, Christian Blue, Kegvit Array, Night Rouge, Necrovillain, Alex Caliber, Nemesis Rubius, Out of All Context, Oliver, Poop, Dork, and everyone else at the executive producer tiers over on coffee a thank you to those guys without which we would not even be here building a moon base to then build a spaceship in hindsight i could have really just built a spaceship couldn't i anyway thank you as well to kato blue chaos zaka kq the magic velociraptor trevor brooks Zirik through and three corrupt racer hazel kg evans matteo electric alice carsten vuoxa telkus three four five jack black sheep eckle cakes hero club you at home for watching, everyone else over on coffee, and the people on Discord, I guess. Thank you.